Hi everyone. In this video, we will look at an uh, interview question that was asked in Texas Instruments. So the question goes as this. So there is a 16-bit synchronous binary up counter which is clocked with a frequency f clock. The two most significant bits are odd together to get an output y. And if you look at the waveform of y, it was seen that it is periodic and the duration for which it remains high in each period is 24 millisecond and they want us to find the f clock. So let us go over that. So before going to a 16 bit up counter or before going to this question itself, let us like try to generalize this particular stuff. right? So let us look at first a 1 bit up counter. Now a counter, a n bit counter, yeah n bit counter can count values from 0 to 2 power n minus 1 which is to say a 1 bit counter, 2 bit counter. So in case of 1 bit counter it will count from 0 to 2 power 1 minus 1 which is 0 to 1. A 2 bit counter will count from 0 to 2 power 2 minus 1 which is 0 to 2. Similarly a 3 bit counter will be 0 to 7 right. So this is the first thing to know. Now why exactly is it called a up counter? Now let us take a look at 2 bit up count, 2 bit counter. A 2 bit counter can count values from 0 to 3 meaning it can show 0, 1, 2 and 3 in any particular order. It can be 0, 1, 2, 3 and reset to 0 again or it can be 1, 2, 3, 0 like this right. So I can let make it in any way. So uh, or it can be from 3, 2, 1, 0 and so on, right. So a uh, up counter essentially means you start, uh, so in every clock cycle the current value will be previous value by plus 1, that is essentially what up counter means and generally by default we assume that the up counter starts from its minimum value which is 0. So in this case since they are talking about up counter, we will assume that its first value will be 0. And, the ma and it will increment by 1 in every clock cycle and the max value that it can take will be 2 power n minus 1. So that is all about up counter. Now with these two fundas out of the picture, let us take a look at 1 bit up counter. A 1 bit up counter can count values from 0 to 1. So if I have a clock and let us say these counters are coded out in such a way that it is triggered at passage of the clock. So in this passage, the output value will be 0 and it will be 0 for this time interval. For this, it will be 1 and again it will be 0. This is the output of the counter. So that is the functioning of a 1 bit up counter. Now let us take a look at 2 bit up counter. A 2 bit up counter essentially means it will be 0, 1, 2, 3 and then uh, the process repeats. So we will again have the clock. So its output will be for this time interval it will be 0, this 1, this 2, for this time interval it will be 3, right? Okay. Now let us try to draw the uh, form the truth table q1, q2. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Let us assume q1 is the MSB bit and this is the second most significant bit. So this is to represent decimal number 0, 1, 2, 3. Now according to the question there was a 16 bit up counter and the there is some signal called as y which is or of the MSB bit and the second most uh, significant bit. So for a 2 bit up counter if I like extrapolate that particular question for a 2 bit up counter y essentially will be q1 plus q2. Now if you can see what exactly is y, it is 0, 0, 0 is 0 and in all other cases it is 1, right, okay. Now let us try to look at it. Now totally out, so this 0, 0 happens for one time period. This 0, 1 comes in another time period, 1, 0 comes in another time period t and 1, 1 comes in another time period t. So that is what, so if you look at the clock, this is time interval t. 
during this time interval t output was 0 during this time interval t output was 1 so totally there is 4t time interval and out of those 4t time interval y the output y which is r of msp and the second most significant bit turns out to be 1 or high for 3t time interval time right so this is in case of a 2 bit count so if i try to generalize it at least this half i can generalize it there will be total of 2 power n 2 power n values will anyway will be there so out of those 2 power n t times for some duration of time period y turns out to be 1 so this value if i find out then i think the question will be done to find that out and to generalize it let's take a look at a 3 bit count specifically speaking a 3 bit up count right so q1 q2 q3 i am assuming this to be the most significant bit. so this is the second q2 will be the second most significant bit so decimal 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now in this particular scenario y will be q1 plus q2 and it will be 0 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 now if you look at this totally there are 80 time interval so so this happens so this decimal 0 comes for t duration of time so by extrapolating that particular information for 2 cube duration of time which is 80 output is there out of those 80 time period only for 60 duration of time y is found out to be 1 so out of those 80 time interval for 60 time interval y was found out to be 1 right okay now according to the question the duration for which y turns out to be high or 1 is 24 millisecond right now let us try to generalize one thing if you look at both 2 bit up counter and 3 bit up counter and if you look uh, so y is essentially q1 plus q2 for y to be 1 if any one of q1 or q2 is high if any one of q1 or q2 is high any one of them is high any one of them is high y will anyway will be high so if we look at two bit up counter there are four possible values among those four possible values for half of those values q1 was high right similarly if you look at three bit counter there would be a total of eight possible values among those eight possible values for half of them q1 will anyway be high and if q1 is anyway high y will also be high so out of 2 power n total values for half of those time interval q1 will be high and if q1 is high y will anyway be high right so for this much interval of time y would be high then for the other half q1 is 0 so now for y to be 1 q2 should be 1 q2 is 1 for half the duration of that of the duration so among the duration out of the duration q1 is equal to 0 out of those half of the time q2 turns out to be 1 so 4t among 4t uh, interval where q1 was 0 2t interval q2 was 0 and q2 inter, uh, q, 2t interval q2 was 1 similarly among 2t time interval for which q1 was 0 2t by 2 which is for t time interval q2 was 1 now so for the duration for which q1 was 1 among that half of that duration q2 turned out to be 1 and if q2 is 1 then anyway the whole y will also be 1 so by generalizing this y will be 1 for 2 power n minus 1 t plus 2 power n minus 2 t time interval so that is it so we can look at 2 bit for 2 bit it was high for 3 t right so 3 t is essentially 2 power 2 minus 1 plus 2 power 2 minus 2 for a 3 bit counter total duration of 80 it was high 
for 2 power 3 minus 1 plus 2 power 3 minus 2 t. Right? So this equation holds true. So now we will get back to the question. For a 16 bit counter, n will be equal to 16. So y will be 1 for 2 power 15 t plus 2 power 14 t interval. Right? And from the question, they say that y is high for 24 millisecond. Right? Now we will equate this to 24 millisecond. So it will be 24 millisecond. So t times 2 power 14 plus 2 power 15 will be equal to 24 millisecond. So t will be equal to 24 millisecond divided by 2 power 14 into 1 plus 2 which will be 3 8 8 upon 2 power 14 millisecond. So they, they have asked for frequency. Frequency will be 2 power 14 divided by 8 millisecond which will be 2 power 11 uh, into 10 power 3 hertz. 2 power 10 is 1024. 2 power 11 is 2048 into 10 cube hertz. So the answer turns out to be either 2048 kilohertz or I can write it as 2.048 megahertz. So that will do. So hope you guys understood how to go about this question. And yeah, see you guys later. Bye.